Hi, this is Anne uh, with another anagram on Replit and um, working with your REPL. Uh, just want to point out some options and useful things uh, using this is um, my cat's project from week one, and um, it's just a simple simple um, web page. I've already run it once, so you can see that this paragraph of text here comes out over here. Um, remember that we use the run button to um, see a new instance. So for example, if I want to change the background color from blue to gold, I simply hit the run button. Um, if I change a value over here in the code, uh, nothing happens at all until I hit that run button. Um, so just to review, over here we have the set of files that are in this REPL project. At the moment, I'm looking at the index.html file that is highlighted here, it shows here, this is the contents of that file, you got some nice line numbers. Um, you have folding, which you may not use right away, but folding is kind of nice when you get bigger files because you can essentially, so for example, later if you're really focused on your body code for your page and you know your head code is right, you can actually just fold that um, by hitting this little minus plus sign. Plus makes it come back, minus makes it go away. And um, I know many of you are working on, on fairly small screens, so um, sometimes just being able to make space for yourself on your screen to see the code that you're actually paying attention to is important. Um, I'm going to unfold that just so you, we can see everything. A uh, couple of things. Um, let's see. Um, I have a list. File code result. Oh, one thing. This is a preview. This result pane is a preview of the page and it's not exactly a full running copy of the page. So as you go farther and farther into your semester, one of the things you're going to want to do is bring up this code in a full out browser web page. There's going to be differences and particularly when you need to inspect the code via the console, it's going to be important to have this in a separate tab. You do that quite simply by clicking this button. Okay, and the same page shows up um, in, in um, your browser tab. Now, you'll note that page is, even though I haven't re-hit the run button, the new page is reflecting the code as it actually is, um, which this preview hasn't caught up with because I haven't hit this run button. Okay, now if I change this value here, um, again, let's just go back to gold because it's easy to type. I can go here and now this page hasn't reflected the refresh. So what a lot of people, what I see a lot of people doing is rehitting run here and then opening a new tab and you can do that. Um, but the other thing you can do is simply cycle between these two tabs and hit refresh over here or shift refresh. And, um, and just simply bring these both up. And, and one of the things, options you have, some machines it's easier, some not, is to have these two browser tabs up side by side, which is really kind of an ideal arrangement. So um, one other thing about that, you'll note that this title text, which you are going to be responsible for um, creating and maintaining on each of your pages, doesn't show up over here anywhere, but it does show up on the tab when you shell out. So if you are working on your title um, for your page, make sure you test in this separate browser window so that you know you have that right. So a couple of other things. Um, there are some buttons here. Let's talk about this one. It's called auto format here. So if I hover over this little thing that looks kind of like a page, it says auto format. The term I'll use this for this is probably either prettify or beautify, usually prettify, um, which is kind of a technical term that folks use. But here it's called auto format, which is perfectly understandable. And if I click it, depending on which language um, file you're working with, you'll get better or worse um, cleanup and alignment. So in this case, um, for this code, let me just try a couple of things. If I like unindent that one line um, just to make it messy and I click this, 
you'll see that um, some white space was added, um, which is never a bad idea, white space, and some changes to the indentation were made. So for example, I think if I control Z to get back to where I was, you'll see that, um, oops, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna put this back where it was. Okay, that when this code was created for us by um, Replit, it was quite tight in terms of no blank lines and the head and body um, sections were indented. But if we auto format it, those come back out to the margin, but the lines inside them are indented. So it really is kind of important to try and keep your code neat, straight, indented properly. Um, and this button will help you do that. Um, it's much harder to read as you get more and more complicated pages. Um, when the code is all over the place in terms of indentation. So that auto, but, auto format button is your friend. Um, a couple of other things are um, this, I think you'd call this a gutter, but um, this, this nav bar over here will default to being here with the files. So um, I happen to have four files in this um, project. One of them is a screenshot that I already dragged up to um, the replit. And these two files happen to be empty. Okay, so um, that's what's under the files tag. There's a version control tag that's new. Uh, I don't think we'll be using that at all this semester, so don't worry about that. Um, we also probably are not gonna use any packages, but you will um, occasionally wanna look at your settings. There are just some options here that you may want to control, okay? So for example, um, I like my layout side by side where my result window is on the right and my code is on the left. If I had a narrower screen, um, I might prefer stacked where the code is on the top. And let me bring, hang on a sec. Let me get index here. Okay, so um, when you have a stacked setting, basically you can see your code on the top and your result window on the bottom. And you can, you can change this. So again, if, you're, if you don't have a lot down here, but you have a lot up here, you can make this window bigger. If it's important to see this and you're only changing some line at the bottom of this file, for example, you can make this bigger. Um, personally, I like side by side. Um, and again, you can control the relationship um, between these windows. Um, the other thing is that generally for my own purposes, I would normally work with a dark theme. That's a little bit easier on the eyes. Um, it's considered easier on the eyes. This is entirely a personal preference. So we only have two themes in this particular IDE, light and dark. Some IDEs have dozens and it's fun to play with them, but here you have a choice between light and dark. Generally for demos and videos, I'm going to be using light. I think that makes things easier for you to read. So that's what I try to do. Um, here, I don't know that you'll want to change your font size. If your eyes are great and your screen is small, it's conceivable you might want to switch to tiny. Um, perhaps in my videos, I should be using large, but at the moment I'm sticking with normal. If you find that you are having trouble seeing text in my videos, let me know and I might try to remember to go for a larger size. Um, if you're projecting to a whole um, room full of students, you might eventually find huge to be a useful thing. Um, I've never had a use for it myself. So go back to normal. Um, don't change your indent type from spaces to tabs. The standard for all of my classes and all of my teams is spaces. Um, religious wars are fought over this, so let's not get into it. Just use spaces, leave it that way. Indent size, I recommend given people's screen sizes and how much we're trying to do inside one window, just leave that indent size to two. And um, again, Below here, I don't think you're going to want to change anything. Um, I think this code intelligence setting is actually broken because I'm pretty sure my code intelligence is turned on, but it always shows up as disabled. So um, I recommend not fiddling with your key bindings unless you know what the word key binding is, in which case feel free. Um, any wrapping, um, code intelligence or infinite loop projection protection, just leave those um, as they are. Um, wrapping could be useful. 
um, I guess wrapping is soft wrapping is turned on by by default. So if I make my code window smaller, you'll see that that these lines wrap, and it's real easy to see from where the numbers are that this is actually all of line 12. So you could turn that off. And then basically you just wouldn't be able to read things that are off to the to the right. So unless for some reason um, the wrapping is starting to confuse you, I would probably just leave that on um, and then use this to adjust so that you can basically see all of all of most lines together. Um, just a couple more quick things. Um, I think we talked about this last week, but um, if I go back to my file view, I do have the ability to add a file. I have the ability to add a folder. We'll be doing that later in the um, semester. Um, I can upload files with this button or I can simply drag and drop them into this file explorer. And um, the other thing that's possible is since I'm not using either script.js or style.css in this project, I can delete those files, um, but, and it won't change how anything works, but if you're going to delete the file, you should also delete the line in your code that gets rid of them. So really the right way to do this is um, there's nothing in that file. So if I come over here and I click, um, I guess I should explain that. If I I can highlight the whole line with my with my mouse or I can come and click the number, highlight the whole line and, sit, and just hit the delete key. Um, and then I have to get rid of the close tag also. Okay, so having deleted the code that refers to script.js, then it's safe to delete the file. I get an are you really sure? Okay, and I should always make sure that my code still runs. And if I come over here, it's still refreshed. Okay, I think that's plenty for one video. Um, hope it was helpful.